Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel y'all. How are you? It's so good to have you back. I am so excited to have all of you guys here with me. Wow, we are here, you guys, December. We are transitioning into Capricorn season. I also see, before we start getting into the reading, something around law school, you guys, or social justice is very present for you. I'm also seeing the growth of a new beginning. This is very important. Uh, your spirit guides are really, really, uh, they're rushing here, okay? So some of you have ancestors here that really want to relay this message to you to keep your light or to keep your hope, okay? If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant, I am clairaudient, I am a medium, and I do offer mediumship-based readings, you guys. All that information is priced down below. Also, uh, please check out my donation links if you guys are feeling extra generous. I do have my cash app, I have my indie deck wish list, I have my uh, PayPal, and my Amazon wish list or my indie deck wish list. Okay, either way, this is how um, we bring in new, new energies into our channel and to continue our channel and support it, of course. So, listen, I also do have a Reiki healing giveaway session, I will be posting it tonight. It's going to be a giveaway, you guys. Also, I offer complimentary healing sessions every other day, okay? So please stay tuned on my story. So let's go ahead and see what's happening. Taurus, there's something victorious here. There's, there's an urgency. Taurus. Miracles. My spirit guides are saying miracles, okay? Let's see what's happening for you. A lot of you guys are starting to shift in the direction of east. It's like your energy, okay, or the compass of your life is shifting this way. A lot of you are starting to see something new or you're seeing your, your rebirth. You're feeling confident about a new beginning here. So let's get the general for you. Let's see here. We have the devil, Taurus something is really binding you. This doesn't feel bad for you, Taurus. It just feels a bit... Something is holding you back from crossing the bridge with your light, you guys. A lot of you, I am getting, there's a new beginning. It feels fresh. Everything feels amazing. There's so much around your renewing your spirit or you're just letting go. Okay, I'm getting a lot of just, you're letting go. You're freeing yourself. The devil is holding you to a contract or a bind. Some of you guys have karmic contracts here or you have a karmic plan here. The devil is not holding you hostage. This is your mind. There's something around your vision for your future here. There's, there's almost a fear of movement. Something has sort of paralyzed you. Something has really kind of created a sense of paralysis in terms of your life, okay? So let's see what else is happening here. The devil, you guys, there's a little bit of some negativity here for some of you, Taurus, but you're pushing forward. Although there's a little negativity, I did feel this inspiration. You're, you're feeling renewed. You're, you're, there's positivity in the mind, but your spirit needs cleansing. Please use basil, you guys, and uh, thyme. Okay, I think it's thyme. Or, or you guys let me know. Comment below. So, we have the judgment card here. Okay. So, wow. Yes. Rebirth. Complete rebirth. Okay, Taurus. This coming end of the month, it almost feels as if they're, you're either renewing a contract, you're renewing something here, but the light, there's so much around the angels calling you back, ok? 
right? Something around the angels really wanting you to come back to their kingdom if you have started a, you know, some form of black magic or you're doing something here. There's duality as well, okay? You have two different paths. One path is instant. One path is gratifying to the body, to the senses. It says yes, because it feels good. It's very instant, you guys. Something around the devil always feels good because he holds no boundary. There's no boundary for what you want. What do you want the most? And it's instant. Now, here we have the kingdom of the angels. Here you are held to an expectation. Okay? But this is also, I feel, you're really mastering something here. You could also be mastering your craft in terms of you know, practicing or being a practitioner, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. Or you are just allowing a surrender here. You're letting go of what was weighing you down. What keeps pulling you back, Taurus, is some kind of bind to the mind, to a specific lifestyle from the past. I want you guys to take deep breaths. Please work on breath work and also meditate, you guys. Okay, so let's see, general, what's going on for you, Taurus? A lot of you have this guiding star. I want you to pay attention, you guys. Look up, please look up. Okay, make sure you keep your eyes above the clouds. Okay, looking up is one of the most favorite things when it comes to faith, okay, when we start feeling that heaviness in our heart, that heaviness in our feet, if we can just take a moment and remind ourselves to look up, okay, please spend time in nature, this, this will heal, okay, this is a time of just completely giving yourself the love that you've needed for so long, listen, Taurus, your grandmother is coming through here for this reading for some of you. Uh, she used to wear either, I'm getting pearls or there's something around a red sweater here. She used to have a, a rocking chair, uh, knitting or very traditional, but <laughs> she always, always had a message for you that was very loving. Okay. There's something around the dimples around the upper part of her arms and she had some kind of it was a deeper philosophy around her aging process or the act of, of aging or maturing but specifically something around dimples you guys I don't know if you guys maybe have this thing around your skin or there's a reminder here from an ancestor to please use your resources use what's in front of you you have so much that you are so gifted towards it's like you are the magician at the end of the month okay so we have the king of wands leo sag aries listen there is a brand new cycle for you you're being an off excuse me you are being offered an opportunity here in terms of leadership excuse me you're also being offered a throne here, okay? So this is about you leveling up, Taurus. This is about you seeing your potential, okay? There's nothing about you that isn't worthy of a level up here. Or some of you are connecting with a fire sign who's going to help you remove the blindfold. This is why your ancestors are coming through. There's something that's threatening your legacy or threatening your environment in terms of feeling empowered they want you to remind yourself that you are worthy okay of being a boss of leveling up you do not have to sit down forever your creativity is really intense here Taurus you're really it's like you're using all these wonderful things you are the magician you guys you create from a place of heart and love Okay. Wow, you guys, you have 
the king of swords i'm so sorry i said the king of wands and he came right out here we have the king of wands and the king of swords you have two masculine energies coming through who will help you there it, it almost feels as if they are gatekeepers for you taurus they're really holding space at the gate they want you to master something before they put the crown on your head you are so wow the movement right now it's really quick in terms of your career you have a choice between two offers and two people. This is about really thinking about it with strategy or feeling it with your senses, okay? So Taurus, let's see what's happening for you with career. What is, what is this all about? Oh my gosh, it doesn't get any better than this Ace of Cups. Listen, this is a brand new beginning for you. This is about really giving birth. This is about the Holy Grail, you guys. Really loving. Loving every part of your journey here. And there's so much here around you're setting yourself free from something. Some of you, I love you. If you guys have been in a very dark place, uh, please check out my hotlines. I do have some links here below if you guys need someone immediate to talk to. Your heart, you guys. Please be careful for your heart. It, it almost feels as if, okay, there's a lot. There's a lot here. But you have a gift. You have a gift here. Wow. Wow. There's something closing off a path for you. This path is really ideal. Or this is something that you've wanted for a really long time, you guys. It's closed off for a reason. Okay, I want you to trust yourself. We have the Three of Swords in reverse your healing. This is why I felt so much pain around your new beginning. Although it is new, it doesn't come without a price or a sacrifice. I love you. I love you guys. I know there's a push here. You have so much here. Your dreams are coming true, Taurus. I want you to hold space for different ways that it may show up. It's going to end at your destination, but it may not look the way you want it to look immediately, okay? I'm also getting a lot of art here. So if you guys are architects or you're working on design, you're working on color, this is going to be your fruition. Let's talk about love, Taurus. Some of you guys are dealing with the Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I'm also getting a Virgo here. A Libra. Let's see. So we have prince, a Princess of Pentacles here. Okay. So there's an opportunity coming towards you, Taurus. New love. Victory in love. Mind, body, spirit. This person really challenges you but you love them for others this is a Capricorn this is a small offer it may come up or it may show up as a ring okay it may show up as a small gift or an offer this person listen be aware of the instant attraction or something around fatal attraction. This person is holding you up as a prize or you really want to hold this person up as a prize. But what is it that you're really uh, aiming for here with, with this love? The pentacle energy is physical. It's sensual. Okay, so let's see. And love. Let's see what's happening for you. So we have the Prince of Wands in reverse. Wow. Listen, in love, it's there's something here that's very young, or there's a spark, but it's not manifesting maturely. 
So again, it feels euphoric. It feels uh, very, it's, it's a high. This connection that's coming towards you is a high, but it's not maturing you, okay? Two paths. You have one path that will help you grow, that will mature you, and another path that feels really heightened with lust. That's not always maturing or growth, my loves, okay? But neither is wrong or right. Your guides will never tell you which way to go. This is about what you're ready for. Okay. Wow, Taurus, yes. I can feel this. I can feel this playful energy. I love it. I love you guys. But listen, this is a good time. Listen to the rhythm of your heart, you guys. Some of you have really closed off your heart. Okay, so let's talk about love. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your power. We have so much around you feeling confident, feeling sure of yourself. You're, you're grounded. You have a business here or you're manifesting. You're, there's so much here around um, balancing career and love. But I'm also getting, um, there's a little bit of I want what I want for myself. Some of you guys don't want to share your love. You want to be single as we move towards the new year. Okay. If you guys are dealing with a Virgo, this person is coming in with a beautiful offer. Okay, there's a wonderful offer here. They will help you in terms of your business, you guys, in terms of career. Taurus and love. We have the two swords making a decision. What's it going to be? What is it going to be? You have to make a decision be between lovers. Okay. Wow. Two paths, you guys. There's also something around the water. I want you guys to spend time by the water. The number 11 is significant. Okay, there's an activation of light or higher awareness here. Okay, there's something around making a choice. Listen, some of you have, I, I, wow, yes. You have closed your heart so much, you guys. It's almost as if this forbidden energy here, you guys are compromising something here. There's unrequited love or there's uh, you know, there's a pattern of seeking unrequited love naturally because you are not ready for the full experience or you're not ready for, uh, you know, anything in terms of deepening the bond here. Please be aware of patterns, you guys. Your ancestors really want you to break free from old ways of doing things. They really love you. Please spend time by the water to really reflect something about seashells as well please take back a seashell or bring it home and do a ritual you guys release your pain wow that was really powerful let's look at the outcome here so we have the emperor so we have structure and love. A lot of you are not moving in love, it feels. A lot of you are saying, wow, there's something around this posture. Look at you. You are fixed in principle. But what is the battle here, Taurus? Is it the, I mean, let's look at the battle of 
Is it inner? Is it outer? Is it the fear of intimacy? Is it the fear of feeling love? You're assessing. Okay, you're really assessing, Taurus. This is a good time. Also, the outcome is this person that's coming towards you that you will definitely fall in love with. Both of you guys are getting a lot of love for growth. It may not feel that way instantly. They will challenge you, especially if they're older or an Aries, sun, moon, rising. I love you.